Very spooky, very fun. <laughs> Welcome to Seriously Serial, episode 289. Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. You can find out more at www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoonie. Thanks, Spoonie. If you eat your cereal dry, then you are a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. Or if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal, the Spoonie. Hi, Spoonie. Every month we post episodes with a theme, and this month's theme is... Halloween. This is our fifth yeah. Halloween special. Yeah, we do love Halloween. We do. It's very true. My Grandma Elsie, your great Grandma yes. Elsie, was a very serious Christian lady, but even she loved Halloween. More than once, I was dressed up like a shepherd and my little sister was dressed up like a sheep on Halloween. I would love to see a shepherd and a sheep trick-or-treating. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Well, today we are going to be reviewing Halloween Fruity Pebbles. Awesome. Same fruity taste, it says on the mm. front. So this box, Halloween Fruity Pebbles, it's going to taste the same as normal Fruity Pebbles, but it's very different colors yeah. than the normal Fruity Pebbles. Unless, of course, the dyes have some weird taste to them. Oh, I hope not. Yeah, me too. But if they do taste good, I mean, it would be pretty fun to make crispy rice treats with these really cool looking colors. Yeah, the purple and orange. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of cool colors. All right, Spoonie. Yeah. When you think of Halloween colors, you probably think of orange and black. Orange for pumpkins and the harvest moon, and black for the dark nights of autumn and winter. But black and orange weren't always considered Halloween colors. The first colors associated with Halloween were yellow and brown. Yellow for the corn and hay you see in autumn, and brown for the bare trees and fallow soil. Nowadays, we regularly see six colors associated with Halloween. Orange and black, red and white, and purple and green. Red represents blood and spooky things like poison apples. White reminds us of skeletons and misty ghosts. Green has long represented monsters, aliens, zombies, and even witches, while purple was one of the more recent colors to be added to the Halloween palette, and it seems to be associated with magic, spells, and other mysterious supernatural things. Halloween Fruity Pebbles cost $5.99, and there are about 15 servings per box, so that's about 39 cents per serving. All right. Each serving is a cup, 140 calories per serving, 31 grams of carbohydrates, and 12 grams of added sugar. And 11 bats. Did you count all the bats on this box? <laughs> I did. Counting is fun. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Moment of truth. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like the shocking orange rice krispies. It's fruity pebbles, just with different colors. Yeah, and no real like aftertaste to it. Like nothing more than like normal fruity pebbles. It's that sort of like traditional artificial fruit taste. It's very sweet and like a little bit like a vague fruity taste. <laughs> yeah, as you can probably see, it's not a, <laughs> it's not a snack or cereal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, I agree. I'm happy to report I don't taste any dye flavors, mm -hmm. so. That's excellent. This tastes just like Fruity Pebbles, mm -hmm. or let's see, some of the other names that Fruity Pebbles goes on. It, Dino Bites, mm -hmm. Rainbow Crunchies, any of those, it just tastes fruity, light, sweet. Although I'd argue that Dino Bites has a little bit less of the fruit aftertaste, which mm. is why I actually like it better. Like the, you're talking like the, uh, what, the Malto Meal brand? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah so. I actually I prefer that one. It is, mm -hmm. It's a slight difference, but I actually do prefer that one. Yeah, I mean, this has great flavor. It's just as a snacker, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to rate things according to like, if I had a little baggie of this, would it be fun? And oh, yeah. 
wonderful to snack on. Well, it would be tasty, which is why mm -hmm. I always say, okay, if it's gonna be tasty, I'm gonna give it a minimum of a two. Mm -hmm. But as a snacker, unless I'm like pouring this into my mouth, there's really no, you know, I mean, I guess I can do this. Yeah. But that's not my favorite way to eat something. No, and that can also get messy pretty quick. Yeah, but the dyes, the different dyes, well, they're not as vibrant. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys can see this. With the shocking orange yeah, the, rice yeah, the crispies, shocking orange. they were like as vibrant as my yeah, hoodie, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. This isn't quite as vibrant, yeah. but still you cannot taste any of the dyes. It doesn't taste any different. That is always great to report. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just gonna be fair and try to be as honest as possible here. Again, great flavor, just like Fruity Pebbles, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna give it a two just because as a snacker, this is not an easy cereal to snack on. And the taste isn't so good mm -hmm. that, wow, I don't care how hard it is to snack on, I'll do it. Yeah, I can give us a basic four, I'd say. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like game changing, but it tastes like Fruity Pebbles and it's cute little Halloween, you know, colors. So mm -hmm. if you want a Halloween variation of Fruity Pebbles for the season, then yeah, pick this up and I think you'll, you'll like what you have. Yeah. Very spooky, very fun. <laughs> very fun. Okay, I'll finish with you. <laughs> Thank All you, right, Spoonie. Spoonie. Just on time. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We're not big enough to be paid through YouTube, but you can support the show by heading over to www.seriouslyserial.org. What's that? Someone's knocking at the studio door. Trick or treat! <laughs> oh, hi, Tina. You're Bolo's niece, right? Yep. Trick or treat, too. Oh, oh. This is my best friend, Demi. Hi. <laughs> I love your guys' costumes. Thanks! We like your costume, too. <laughs> I'm dressed up like a mom. We can tell. <laughs> because this show is safe for kids, like Tina and Demi, YouTube turns off comments. But we love hearing from you. Go to seriouslyserial.org and click the mailbox to write to me, Spoonie, Bowler, Fork and Million, or all of us. Or us! <laughs> Seriously Serial will be back next Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time with an all-new theme. See you guys then. Happy, happy, happy Halloween! Be safe, everyone.